Just at the moment, you can still fairly describe Wadebridge as a traditional rural market town, proud of its independent butchers, bakers and candlestick makers, little changed from the days when it was a magnet for North Cornwall's livestock traders. But the times, they are a changing. This is part of Trawarder Farm on the northeast of town, arguably on the wrong side of the main A389 road. But plans now with Cornwall Council envisage a very large development, 600 homes, a school and a health centre between Eglisale and Sladesbridge, officially known as Church Park, but critics call it Wadebridge Newtown. Meanwhile, on the other side of town, the long-running saga of developing the town's football club awaits the next planning application. About 140 houses are in the pipeline, with the footballers moving to a new site behind the school. And all that is just the start. Once the future of the football club is settled, and it has been talked about for several years already, then this land, north of the river between Bradford's Quay and the main A39 bypass to the west of town, also comes into consideration. And even beyond that, north and west of the bypass, there are now plans for 450 homes on land between Bodive and the Ball Roundabout. All of this is happening without an agreed local neighbourhood development plan. The government has told Wadebridge it should expect to take at least 1,100 new homes before 2030. If even just the existing proposals come to pass, that number will be closer to 1,400, increasing the population of Wadebridge by about a third. So if you want to see what a traditional rural market town looks like, you'd better hurry up and visit Wadebridge before Wadebridge visits you.